What's up guys, it's the only enjoying aviators and superhero hat bringing you another video here on the modern ninja channel Now guys, it is a great Saturday once again, and I'm doing another tutorial video here for you guys Today we're doing another XMA video for you guys doing the behind the back bow staff catch or behind the head actually bow staff catch now I've done a similar video with this with the sword if you want to check that out it's gonna be very similar I'll leave a link down in the description and uh, in one of the corners for you guys I gotten better at doing those recently so hopefully I won't forget this time but regardless we got to run that intro so we can get to the tutorial Alright guys, so first you're going to need a bow staff. I suggest starting off with something light and flimsy uh, because hitting your head while trying to get this trick will happen. I've done it, my students have done it, my teachers have done it. it it's going to happen if you do it enough. So uh, just be very careful and know that going in. Maybe do a, use a foam bow staff or just something really light that's not going to dent your skull in. So what you're going to want to do is you want to grab it just to the right of center. You're not going to want to grab it in the middle of your bow staff. That's not going to be super easy. You're going to grab it below center just like this and in your right hand. Obviously you can do this both sides but today I'm going to do right handed because I feel like most people are right handed and uh, if you want to do left hand you can just do the opposite of what I'm doing right now. So you're gonna take it in your right hand and you're gonna extend your bow staff out. Now the motion you wanna get a, yeah. Now the motion you're gonna wanna get is this circle motion with your wrist, this flick motion with your wrist. This is gonna be what flicks the bow staff and spins it into your hand. Now my first suggestion is to get practice just passing the bow staff off. I'm not even letting go right now. I'm just L learning where to put my hand so that I catch it every time now when you flick it you're gonna want to miss the first one don't catch the first one and catch the second one catch the same side that your hand is currently on so it's gonna come up and you're going to catch it behind your back like this doing it slow obviously isn't gonna work but it's gonna look something like this and I'll show you both the front and back pictures Now again, make sure you're very careful when practicing stuff like this. This is very dangerous, it can hurt you. Uh, just so, so realize that and take precautions and be safe when you're practicing this. If you wanna see more videos like this, I release a tutorial every single Saturday for you guys. And it'll be either XMA, it could be combat stuff, it could be weapon stuff for a variety of weapons. I know I just finished doing a bunch of nunchuck videos as well. So if you have a suggestion of what you wanna see me teach you guys how to do or something, uh, some weapon you want me to use or some uh, defense you want me to do, whatever it is, let me know down in the description because that's how I uh, take your comments and and learn from them if you want to get to me get into if you want to get in touch with me directly definitely join my discord I always always listen to my discord guys they uh, get notifications first when I go streaming they get uh, first dibs to offer me you know ideas and stuff like that so definitely hit up my discord if you are interested but until next time don't forget to like and subscribe so you see my future videos and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them but my name is DJ Moore, this is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.